Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh, it stopped. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. That was a really long run down that staircase past all the, uh, the guns. So we have to take this elevator, I do believe, that Otacon took earlier. And you may notice I just used my last ration. Because we only had one and I got shot by the guns because I ran out of chaff grenades. I could have used, I suppose, like uh, the Nikita or something. No, I couldn't because we can't use it in here. Why can't we use it in here? I don't understand, but apparently we can't. Does this work? Yeah, maybe I could have just done that. Uh, you know, it's fine, it's whatever. So I do believe we have another boss fight coming up extremely soon, perhaps immediately. Oh god, that sounds bad. Huh? Um, Let's try talking to Otaku Convention. Where the hell are you? I don't know why, but the elevator just started working again. Well, hey now. You take it all the way to the bottom of Tower B and go outside, you'll be in the snowfield. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is in the north of the snowfield. Uh-huh. But, but Onikon ain't working, man. Deep Throat? Deep Throat is never there. Useless. What about Meryl? She, she got shot, right? Yeah, we're not talking to her anymore. Master? Does he know about Elevated? No, he's not talking either. God damn it. <laughs> like, no one's responding, man. down that hind. All right, look. Well, after all, that hind shot down two F-16. I appreciate the ass kissing. to believe that after doing that, it got taken out by just one man. Nice going, Snake. Well, thank you, but the elevator. Okay, like, I don't know. Uh, give me a second, I suppose. Wait. Oh. Oh, the elevator was working the whole time. It just... Well, what the hell was that about, then? Uh, hello. Snake. There's something I forgot to tell you before. Uh-huh. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Why didn't hey, you give me one? This isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get <laughs> one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. Oh, that's what that the was. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? I don't know. About 135. You've been putting away the but donuts lately. had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Maybe four guys wearing stealth camouflage. Oh, my God. The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. <laughs> that face. Too late, Snake. Now, oh, oh, hello. Hey, he's coming. He's, he's coming, Wally. He's coming. coming. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's shorter than you. A couple inches shorter than you. Ah, eight for twelve o'clock. Eight for twelve. Yeah, eight for twelve. Oh, oh, right. oh my gosh, that was awesome. All right, hold on. I can deal with this sitch. Hold on. Let's stun these bastards. Give me gold dodging. All right, you know, if the stun grenade could go, oh, thank you. Beautiful. All right, here's what we do. Pull one of those in, and then we blow them up. Eleven o'clock. And then we put one of those there. And uh, you're still alive, huh? You're still alive. Thank you. That hit me? No, I won't believe it. Not even for a second. There we go. All right, I heard someone die. One o'clock. Oh. Good, good, good. Twelve, twelve. Oh. Can you? <laughs> okay. Apparently, I didn't. Ooh. Hold on. Um, this bad. My health real, real low. Get a shooting. Okay, we dunked him. Ah! Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no! Five to three! I got mixed up. And even, oh, a ration! Hell yeah, dude! Alright, let's beat the crap out of this guy. Beautiful. Wonder if. What happens if I knock him out? One o'clock! Son of a bitch! Are you little son of a bitch? You got enough, little freak! Oh, he just gets up real quick. Okay, fascinating. Well, let's give him the old Merrill. That's what I like to call it. R.I.P. Merrill and all that, you know. 
She'll be fine, probably. We didn't give up in the torture. Alright, I completely forgot that that whole section was a thing. <laughs> Otacon's face, man, in the codec. That was great. Right, so we got the uh, busted ass staircase. I guess that's the staircase we saw earlier. I don't know if you saw that because I haven't even edited that footage yet. Because um, I got lost quite a bit. As you may or may not know, depending on how I edit the previous footage, perhaps you won't even realize that I was lost because I'm just that damn good at editing sometimes. Um, speaking of being lost, where in the piss do we go now? There has to be a door around here. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to perhaps get back in the the elevator and go somewhere else. Ah! Sneakiest door in the world. Well, actually, it's not that, not that sneaky. Hang on. Let's grab this. I do not have any shaft grenades. How much health do we have? Not a whole hell of a lot. Just about half. Alright. Let's just be very patient here. Just wait for it to turn around. Lovely. There we go. Alright. I wish I could see better, but, you know, it's a PlayStation 1 game. Oh my god, that scared the... Freaking hell out of me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, stop! The jump scares me. Oh my god. It reminds me of like the, the fixed camera from Resident Evil. I mean, the camera's not really fixed because we can, we can do that, right? Hey, it's a snowfield. Hmm. I can hear wolves in a snowfield. <laughs> Yeah, just crouch there and take the call. We'll be fine, Snake. Snake, are you okay? Oh, I just got shot, you pillock. Were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking it's regular about? Regular camouflage. Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. There's a it's blizzard. Her. Wolf, sniper wolf. Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. This gloss is just flashed. Insane? Please, she's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. Hello. <laughs> How do you have my I number? Told you, I never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Catch you. Well, I mean, obviously, you shot me. You. It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. With a bullet? Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Hey, 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 I may I be may ugly and hate-filled, but, but I... Um, what was that third was thing you said? Thing you Whoa, said? okay, so I just saw the, the laser sights. The, the fucking laser sights, if you will. Right, so our health, very low. We've got body armor. I suppose we should put that on. Do we have anything else that might help us? And perhaps if I wave her handkerchief, she'll think I'm surrendering, or she'll like her own smell so much, because, you know, she's one of those people, she's stuck up, she's like, oh, that smells of me, because she's probably downwind, right? She'll be like, oh, that smells of me, that's delightful. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so, I'm thinking night vision or thermal is going to be a good idea, but also, you know, body armor. Let's just put on the body armor for now. We're going to have to shoot this bitch, but let's quickly look around. So, ooh, let's quickly look around, see if we can perhaps get... A ration or something, you know, that would be no nice. Oh, there's one there. Oh, delightful. Beautiful. Alright, so let's just try and, you know, stick a move, stick a move. Oh my god. Well, that's just upsetting. So, one would guess we probably aren't allowed too terribly close to her. Let's try the old... Let's try the old thermal, shall we? I can see precisely Dick. Beautiful. You know, I can't... Okay, we can see where the laser's coming from. So perhaps that's all we need. So let's wait for her to take a shot. She took a shot, I think. Snake, you got a PSG-1! You ca I don't think I have any... Uh, oh, no. 
I don't have any daisy pam. Oh, this is gonna be oh god. This is gonna be the worst experience, dude. This is gonna be actually just the worst experience. I legit have no idea where she is. And even when I do, I can't shoot because I suck. And we don't have daisy pam. I found her! Okay, hold on. Oh, am I, am I. Well, we traded. We can't, we can't really afford- Oh, she should- Oh, come on, man! We can't really afford to trade with her a whole hell of a lot. She's got a lot more health than I do. I don't know where she went. Well, if we can- Much like the first fight with her, if we can sort of get on her and just, you know, cuck 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 combo break her, then we should be good, but... Uh, struggling a little to relocate her, as it were. Oh, come on! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Ah, that's bad! <laughs> that's bad. Ooh. I can't respond right now, I'm dead. Look, you got the PSG1. You can use that against Snapper Wall. You can use that against Snapper Wall. I found her! Shoot her in the blasted arm! Oh, come on! Well, she went behind a hill. Is she, uh, 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 snake! Why do you have Parkinson's? I don't understand. Oh, come on. That, that, was the, that was the elbow. Okay, I can't afford to waste all my... Yeah. Snake! Jesus, man! Come on. How's it not hit her arm? Okay. We hit her once. As a start. Okay, I, 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 Snake, please. Snake, please. All right, just, just focus. I swear you can. Maybe not. I, I thought you could shoot the bits that were poking out, but apparently not. This is me not touching the controls, by the way. So yeah, in case you're wondering why the Daisy Pam is so useful, uh, that's why. All right. So one would assume she's probably going to run back out. But perhaps she can go further left. Seems that way, doesn't it? Whoa. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, I saw her le Ah, oh, you bitch! No, get- Ah, oh, come on! Okay, well... Not a great start. We've got eight bullets. Good lord. I mean, there's some on the battlefield, but I don't have to go grab them, really. So let's try and be frugal. I mean, if I- Thank for God's sakes. I d don't make me backtrack for Daisy Pan, fella. I don't think I can handle it. There's a lot of stairs in there. This is very tense. And slow. <laughs> Come on, make a move, bitch! Is it because I'm looking at her? Is she being more cautious? What if I'm like, hmm, totally not... Totally not looking at you. To totally don't know where you went. Oh my god, come on, love. Come on, love. Lots of yell. Right in the tit. Alright, just stick on her and maybe we'll be good. Five bullets. I don't think that's enough. I think I do have to go up and get some more. Stick not now! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Go, 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 go. Three, 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 three. Oh, that was. Oh, okay. no! Don't! Don't! Don't give me that! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 Shut up, Naomi, for a start. Second of all, I want to actually replay that. I shot her in the head. Uh. Oh, that was a close one. That was a... No, no, you're behind it. It's cheating. It's cheating. I have completely lost her. <gasps> no, I haven't. Yo! Action shot! Suck on my huevos! Alright, we got to reload the gun while she's behind a tree. Kind of accidental, because I shot the extra bullet, but you know what? Uh, useful! Alright, so her breath is coming out this side. Yeah, he's, mm, she's, she's juking me in this fight. She's juking me. Alright, I think she's going to keep going this way. Um. Um. She didn't keep going that way, did she? Where'd she go? 
Oh, I found her. Okay. <laughs> if only she'd shot me whilst uh, whilst I was looking for her. She's a good shot, but she's not the you know she's not the smartest sniper. What was? What? Thanks, please. God damn it! What was that? Was that like her 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 thing on my snake? Snake! I've run out of freaking ammo, snake! Come on, mate! What are you doing? All right, we've got ammo here. Five bullets should be plenty. I just need to like relocate her. Is the main problem. Oh god. Oh okay. We know where she is. We know where she is. What? You weren't even pointing at me, love. You having a laugh? I saw her. I saw her. Please. Yes. Remember, kids, take your diazepam. You won't have to deal with that shit. Oh my god. Yeah, that fight is obviously a lot easier when he ain't shaking around. Like, I don't know. Fat dude in a treadmill or something. Like, that was. That was rough. That was rough stuff. I think there's more stuff to find in the snowfield, but obviously, cutscene first. Take that, you fickle wench. I waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Really? Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle, muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> That's nasty. I am long shot. Save me. Wasn't trying to. Please. Just finish me quick, me quick. I, I am a card. I have all, always dreamed of a peaceful, peaceful place like this. All right, hello, future Jason. We're gonna. We're gonna skip so this cutscene because it's glitchy and we'll just record it off YouTube. I if I fuck this up for you, uh, I apologize. Why? Get out of here, I gotta why? put old yellow down. I love you. But why? What is it? My gun. Give it to me. I mean, I assume they knew each other for a while, as opposed to Meryl and Snake that apparently, you know, fell in love really quick. Air quotes, love. Everyone's here now. Even though I think the implication is that Snake is gay. Okay, and the reason I say that is because if you remember when Psycho Mantis was reading our minds, he's like, what, you don't like girls? I watched the same cutscene. Hang on, I'll tell you in a second. Goodbye, my lover. Snake. What's up? You said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What's that got to do with love? What are you doing? <laughs> Turning it to its owner. <laughs> I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't think she I does either, to be honest. To be <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Here, take the sniper yeah. rifle from this if woman's corpse. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Love you. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Find yourself a woman who isn't a sniper, you know? Because I'll probably kill him otherwise. Snake. It's what I do. What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. 
He won't. He won't tell him, I mean. Because we survived... I'll spoil this part for you. Because we survived... Okay. I'll be searching too. The, uh, ...the torture and didn't give up. I won't spoil the ending we're going to get, but what I will say is, if you do give up during the torture, you get the ending where you meet Otacon. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> so we're not going to hear what he was going to say. I will uh, find that ending on YouTube when we get to that point so you can see the other ending with Otacon. So, you know. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say was, uh, the reason... Oh, the... All around me are familiar faces worn out we shall never speak of this. I did not know there was diazepam behind that tree. I thought we couldn't walk any further than where we were because she shot me at one point. Hey, is there a box in here by any chance? No, but that's a, a quick travel point if we get the box, but we don't have it. We need the snowfield box, box C. It could well be in here or something. I do not know. Uh, it's a level one door. That's very strange. Oh my God, cameras. Hey, rations. Yeah, so we possibly could have picked up all of this crap. Um, but alas, we did not. But whatever. Anyway, so back to my point about, like, possibly Snake being gay. It's, yeah, there you go, this C. So it's implied several times throughout the series, from what I understand. And originally, with the, um, you know, the, the cutscene with What's-His-Chops. Uh, Psycho Mantis. Originally with that cutscene, there's a lot of bloody doors here. Originally with that cutscene, I kind of took it to just mean, hey, she's very, very, uh, solid. Not as solid as me, I'm a solid snake. Get it? Uh, yeah, originally with that cutscene, because he's like, why do you don't like girls? In a kind of comedic way, I, I thought it was just a joke, you know? Uh, I thought it was just him being a dick. However, I did watch that cutscene, uh, in the Twin Snakes version on YouTube. Like, after I started this playthrough, I was looking at little bits of boss fights and stuff to see how they compared. And that cutscene in Twin Snakes, which for those that don't know, is the remake of this game that came out on the GameCube. And the reason I decided to do this version and not the Twin Snakes version is simply just because this was the version that people recommended. So I was like, you know what? Nostalgia and all that. Plus, it's the one people seem to think is better. But, you know, maybe rose-colored goggles. I don't really know. But either way, so that's why I went with this one. Anyhow, so in that version, uh, the way he says it, it's got a different tone to it. It's not so jokey, like, oh, well, you don't like girls? It's like, he sounds shocked. He's like, what? You don't like girls? Like, he genuinely, like, I, I, that's probably not exactly how it sounded, but it legitimately sounded to me as if he meant it, you know? As if, like, he'd read Snake's mind and in Snake's, hold oh my fucking word. In Snake's mind, as if it was like, yo... I like dick. So, I choose to take that, that snake is gay. Now, nothing wrong with that. Don't want people to be like, are you saying, because you know, every time you bring up like sexuality, there'll be someone that's like, are you saying it's wrong for snake to be, no, snake can suck all the dick in the world, more power to him. I'm just saying like, I think that's the implication. I think he's supposed to be gay, which is weird with this whole like Meryl situation kind of goes like counterintuitive to that. And uh, Meryl does not actually show up until Metal Gear Solid. I think this is the way we need to go, so we'll try and keep that in mind. Uh, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear... Meryl does not show up again until Metal Gear Solid 4. I've said enough about 4, <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself. Because, um, you know, 2 is uh, two is a direct sequel to this, but she just ain't in 2. It's as simple as that. There's, like, no mention of her, really, or anything. It's just, like, as if she didn't survive. It's very odd. And then she comes back in 4, and then 3 is a prequel, you know, where you play as Big Boss, so... She probably wasn't even born then. So, uh, yeah! And, and when she shows up in 4, it's kind of just... It's different. It's almost as if... As if they weren't in love, and they were just, you know, good friends and comrades and stuff, so... I feel like... Perhaps not when this game came out. Might not have been the intention from Kojima, but certainly since then... It seems like maybe between the Twin Snakes and the fact that Meryl and him don't seem to be romantically involved at all in 4. Perhaps. That confused the absolute piss out of me. Uh, perhaps the implication is therefore that... Oh, I... Oh, fuck. I think I actually got to change the disc without having to restart the emulator and thus losing my data. 
I think we're good. I don't think I have to redo that. Oh, thank Christ. All right, we're definitely saving now. Mei Ling, let's have a chat, shall we? In China, they say, it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Nick, promise me that you'll come back alive. All right, Mei Ling. A bit deep for this time of day? Bloody hell, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. What's wrong with you? Let me save on uh, on memory card. Excuse me? I was going to say, let me save on memory card too. The snake's like, what do you want me to say? You weirdo. All right, we should probably end the episode very, very soon, but let's go for a little time a bit longer. I don't remember much about this area at all, except that there's these guys walking around. I think there might be like one more of them down, but yeah, there's one like directly below me. Hmm. All right, let's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Hang on. Can I attract him? I'm wearing sexy lingerie. Come over here. Uh, He's going to hear me walking on that grating if I'm not careful. That's a problem. Hold on. I can fix this. Ah! I can't fix it. Hang on. I fixed it. <laughs> yeah. All right, are the rest of them going to... Oh, yes, they are. Okay, let's just hide. The evasion thing's almost done. There we go. A man is dead. He ain't coming back. The alert is gone. Beautiful. I believe you can land in that larvary stuff down there. Molten, whatever the hell that is. And I think it kills you. I think he sinks like he's the Terminator or something. We should check that out, because, you know... You gotta do it, ain't you? Oh, yeah, I remember side... Hey, I... That'll be how you do it. <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, modern video games kind of led me to believe that once I was on there, I would stay on there and I wouldn't have to hold the button to stick against the wall. No, you do. Otherwise, Snake's like, well, life was fun, but effort. Oh, God. Oh, for yeah, so there's lots of stuff around here that makes noise, which is what makes this area difficult. You know, I'm just gonna punch the living shit out of you. Alright, we'll deal with him in a minute. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we have a silence famas. Why don't I... Uh, uh, so calm. Why don't I just bloody use that? Wait for him to get up. Wait for him to move. And then pop the shit out of him. Turn around, buddy. There you go. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, I'm disgusting, I'm a monster! But I'm a live monster, unlike you. Who's a dead monster? Get it? Because he's a monster because he works for the bad guys. That's the way it works. Right, so... What the hell is this? You see, like, on the radar, there's, like, a an entity below me? Is that the camera? The cameras show up like that? Oh, they do. How did I never realize that? All right, hang on. Let's see if we can sidle along here. Okay. Don't be surprised if I fall again. It's not that easy with the shifting... Yeah, with the shifting uh, camera angles. It's not that easy. Oh, God. Not that easy to stay on here. I think I have to crouch. Hang on. Does it go over my head? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> if I hadn't crouched just then. Whoop. Alright. Let's keep going. Okie dokie. So. There's this dude. Is he? Where's he going? Will he hear me? Hang on. No, no more. He won't. Beautiful. You got rationals on anybody? Uh, okay, yeah, we're almost full of rations. We just need one more, which is not bad considering how long we were on, you know, one and zero. So, we're getting there. Hey! Speak of the devil and it shall appear, our final ration. Let's try and be a little... What's that? That's another ration. Let's try and be a little more frugal with these ones. Oh, my God. Very close. Uh, let's try and be a little more frugal with these ones than we were last time, because, oh, boy... That would have sucked. By the way, if you notice, we now have 192 at 192 Socom bullets. Uh, because when you kill bosses, not only do you occasionally get more ration space and space for diazepam and such, such, because if you notice, we have 6 out of 9, 69. Uh, we originally had like 3 maximum. So, you know, your maximum space for ammo, things like diazepam, and your maximum health and rations and what have you will go up sometimes when you kill a boss. I think it's only for certain bosses, you know, probably the, the really important ones, like, you know, Vulcan Raven, who we haven't seen yet, the second Sniper Wolf fight. I think, though, actually, our health went up after the first Sniper Wolf fight, so 
I don't know the exact criteria. Maybe it's just every single boss fight. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. We start out with what? Uh, what? One ration maximum? Have we killed four bosses? We definitely killed more than that, right? Because two different sniper wolf fights. Can we go in here? Oh. Oh! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Crap. Yeah, so two sniper wolf fights. Psycho Manus, the tank. Ocelot. Uh, Cyborg Ninja, that's six there alone. There's probably some I'm forgetting as well. So, yeah, you definitely don't get an increase in ration every single boss. So, I don't know what the exact criteria it is. Uh, criteria is. I do not know. The 12th ever. It's probably not that important. Right, so I don't think there's any more dudes in here. So it doesn't look like it. Did not mean to do that. What the hell is this? What are these things? Where are we going? Um... I feel like this is the way to the camera. Am I right about that? I know I realized like way earlier on. Yeah, I think the camera's in sort of a... I don't want to say... Oh god. I don't want to say like a secret room exactly, but I actually do think... I think it's like a place you have to crawl. Possibly under here. I think this is where you find the cam... Maybe? I think I'm on to something. I think I'm at least on the, the general right track. I think this is the area with the camera, not the area with the gas-filled, you know, Nikita missiles, electrical floor area. I don't think it's that. I think it's somewhere around here. It's sort of coming back to me now. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere else we can go really quick. Yeah, so I think it is in this, this gassy room somewhere. And maybe that maybe that was what made sense in my mind, you know, they're, they're both sort of gas. Don't really know. Let's try going up here. Oh my god, you suck. Yeah, I think it's like... I think it's in here somewhere. Let me look around. I mean, that's the only place I can see in this room. It's the, the first person view is not very good, but you know, we, we work with what... We work as best we can with what we have. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, so perhaps not in that exact room, but probably somewhere like that. Now, do we want to pop a ration? I think we probably do. Be very careful here. We should be able to grab this without falling in if we're extremely careful. Oh my god. <laughs> please, snake, please. Snake, no. Snake, snake. Snake. Alright, hang on. <laughs> okay. Alright, we made it. Um. So we were over there. We went over there. No, I don't know. I don't know. Also, didn't I go up an elevator at some point? Like, where the. Where the bloody. I'm, I'm lost. Hang on. Where did I go up the elevator? What's going on? Where am I? Oh, the elevator's there. Did we need to take that? I think that was just a shortcut, right? It seems like it's just a shortcut. Yeah. I guess? Hang on, let me go back down the elevator and see if there's something I'm missing. Ah, uh, okay, I guess not, because it's just this... Yeah, it's just these little walkways here with nothing going on. Huh. Yeah, I could swear the camera's around here somewhere. It could just be in this sort of general area, maybe not in that exact steam room looking thing, maybe it's something similar. That was me opening a bottle of water in case you're wondering. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I should probably end the episode here, but I can't resist the urge to check in this room. However, I do think shit might go awry when we go in here, but we'll have a look. Right. Yes. So that is a giant elevator shaft where a giant elevator is on its way up, as you can see. Now, I do remember, without spoiling anything, something happens here very soon. Perhaps relating to said elevator. I won't spoil what it is, but it will take long enough that <laughs> I really should end the episode here. So next time, we go down the possible uh, elevator of death. Thank you for watching, I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, as always, I would appreciate a like, comment, etc. It helps out a great deal. Thank you so much to everyone that does do that. Thank you to this month's patrons. If you would like to become a patron yourself, you can do so over at patreon.com slash LP. Thank you very much to... Miss Justice 83, James Marsden, Bloodpire, Nickarin, Billy Nine, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Awina 1997, Trinigan334, Rex Burham, Luna Parker, Trent123, Loot Smoke Soldier, George Blackwell, Philip Rep, Blackwolf A994, Hitbox, Pedro Marquez, KP Shadow Squirrel, and Nuria Age. Thank you everyone. You're awesome. I'll see you next time for more Metal Gear Solid. Let's have a chat with Mei Ling and hear her proverb to end the episode. What can I do for you, Snake? You can save my game, love. Here we go. Hit me.
snake in China, they say. When walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay? Well, you heard it from the horse's mouth. Melon patches are bad. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.